Hi, I'm Brad with Double D Trailers. I want to take a few moments to show you some features on this SafeTac three horse slant. It has an a la carte living quarter package. I'm very excited about that. It's something that we've never offered before. So we'll go ahead and get started. Step on up on the inside. One of the things that I really like, a lot of trailers with an awning, if you're not careful, this door will swing around and hit the awning arm. And something that we do on all of our trailers that get an awning is we have this extra gas shock installed. It might seem like a small feature, but once you use your trailer over the next 10 years, having this door not bang your awning each and every time, it's a huge plus. Step on up inside. Now this was a custom order by uh, a lady down in Florida. You can see even sitting on the mattress, I've got pretty decent head height here. I'm five foot ten. I do have to hold over it just a little bit, but I'm okay just sitting up, so it's pretty comfortable. Uh, this is a seven, I think a seven four tall. We could probably go seven six and get a little bit of extra height here, so that's something that you can consider. We went ahead and added these day and night combination shades so that the light can come through during the daytime. And of course at night while you're sleeping, you can close those off so that no one can see through. A lot of folks will use, or companies will use a mini blind. I try to stay away from those just because they shift around back and forth during transit. The a la carte feature, one of the ways that we're able to save money on it, all of the safe tax comes standard with a fully insulated sidewall. This is actually the same material on the walls as, as in the back of your horse here. So this is sheet metal that's white and then the same roof style. You can notice we, we didn't do anything to the roof as far as adding uh, RV paneling or insulation or things like that. This is a fiber composite roof. It's already self-insulating. It has the Z-frame roof bows built into it, so it's super strong, heat reflective, uh, and it's one piece, so it can't leak. There's not any seams whatsoever in this roof. Now some things that we added to this that our customer wanted was uh, a flat screen television. And if you step up over here, I was very impressed with this feature. It's, it can't move around, but it's got a small chain. And if you pull this chain, it will release the catch. And then the TV just swivels around and it's on a bracket. There's a DVD player into the side. And once you're finished with it, you just push it right back in place and it locks. So I was very happy about that. The cabinetry in here, uh, these are real wood, wood panel doors. And then uh, the actual cabinets themselves is a composite type material for a couple things. One to save on weight, two to save on cost. And of course we offer a wood upgrade on the a la carte if you choose to. Uh, in this series, you can pick and choose the length of the cabinet. We actually sell it by the foot in one foot increments. So uh, this has a five and a half foot base cabinet, and this has a five and a half foot overhead cabinet. If you wanted to shorten that cabinet up to save on cost, you could certainly do that. We offer features such as a microwave or a, a refrigerator and a cooktop, stand up shower stalls. You can really customize these things out however you would like versus buying a typical living quarter package that perhaps might, uh, one, cost more money, and two, have a lot of things in it that you just may not want uh, to pay for and that you don't need. I really like the way that we've got a shelf in here so you can just sit things up in there. And you can see on the a la carte, uh, it doesn't have the finished roof like, like are in uh, our Rawhide series or other living quarters. But again, this is certainly an economical living quarters with uh, tough type material. So if you want to get in here and kind of get down and dirty, you can certainly do that without having to worry about damaging the side walls or scuffing them or anything like that. Now this uh, particular customer wanted to have shelves versus uh, a closet rod. And that's something that you can do. It's very inexpensive to add these. Okay. I like the stainless sink. We can drain this directly into a holding tank or you can drain it on the ground. Uh, this one goes on the ground just to save on cost. Now if we step back into the horse area, I do want to point out the floor. Uh, this trailer was ordered with a couple things. 
Number one, we added the rum bar flooring uh, in the horse area as well as the living quarter. We typically don't do that. Normally we would just have uh, a plywood subfloor underneath here or uh, two by eight pine and then, uh, but this customer wanted the rum bar floor. She also wanted the stall mat on top just to have something that's very durable, easy to clean, easy to maintain, and of course will last a lifetime. If you ever scuff it up, you just drag it out, hose it down, and you can throw it back in. Uh, the walkthrough door into the horse area I really like. Step in here and get a shot of this cowboy shower. Let me grab the key. Cowboy slash cowgirl. If you're a female. I love this. You can actually take, you've got hot water, cold water, a shower wand, a fully enclosed area. You can hang this up. The windows are tinted so no one can see through. If you really want some extra privacy, maybe just hang a curtain from the ceiling to keep out the local peeping toms. But this is a perfect area to have a shower and it's very inexpensive. We have a hot water heater on board. We have a water tank here, a water pump, cowboy shower, a cowgirl shower. And so you can really take a comfortable bath not like soaking in a hot tub, but it's a whole lot better than not having any water at all. And this is flush mount so the horse can't get to it. Uh, it doesn't protrude out and cause a safety hazard for your horses. I really like the cowboy shower feature on this a la carte. And if you take a peek right here, you can see the hot water heater. Those are all, when I say a la carte, it truly is. You can choose to have the hot water heater or you can choose not to have any water at all, uh, just to save on cost. We went ahead and added in this trailer um, some storage underneath here. And you can see the size of the water tank. I think that's approximately a 30 gallon. And then just a place here where you can throw some boots and shoes and that type of thing. Okay, oh and the screen door I really like. And we probably just lost our light with the camera, but anyway, if you grab this screen, let me open this door back up. You may want to step outside and shoot it in. So you can close that screen off, keep the bugs out, or just open that up. I love those screen doors quickly show you how the two-step awning operates just to save time on our camera here. Two-step. Number one, flip the lever. Step two. Oh. Voila. So on a really hot day, your fair skin like I am keeps the sunlight off your head. Again, you don't have to worry about the awning arm getting struck by the door big selling point in my opinion and then to roll this back up it'll actually dump uh, I think on this end one end or the other it's got a spring loaded right here a shock so when the water ponds it'll actually dump off of this end and by water I mean when it's raining out This has all the standard features of the safe tack. It's built with Z-Frame technology. We have other videos to show how all of those things operate, but I'll go over just a few items quickly. We have a mid-latch uh, mid window here, meaning midway of the window. It's not up so high that you can't reach it. And I do like the way you can just open and close that with one hand. You just kind of squeeze it. It'll fall open. You can latch it while you're driving down the road. The bars in the window will fold independent of the glass. So you can leave the bars up or you can lay those bars down. We certainly recommend leaving the bars up while traveling. Otherwise, you may get a bug in a horse's eye or something like that. If we walk on around to the side. Uh, one more thing before I forget it. I do like the running board down this side. It works really well for camping. Keeps rocks and things from 
uh, going up the side of your trailer, but also just having a nice little place to sit down and take a break if you're out of breath or if you need to step up. We've got a convenient grab handle that's standard on these trailers and you could step up and pour some feed inside of a stall or something like that. So this running board step works really well. Now this is the safe tack and the purpose of the safe tack is exactly what it says. Your doors will fold around to the side. A lot of horses don't like the load in this small and in this narrow door. It's a very confining space and there's not enough room for you and your last horse to step up inside of the trailer because the saddle compartment is in the way. So it really creates a potential danger and a hazard for you. And not only that, you have to back your horses back out, which they don't like to do oftentimes. And so the safe tack solves those problems. You've got a handle here, so it's easy to grab. It, it just folds right around out of the way. There's a latch on the back side uh, so that we can latch it in the open position. And then if you look inside, it's really neat. This is one of my favorite features. The saddle racks are adjustable in height. Just lift it right out. Just a small bolt here. And you can position it in either hole that you would want to go in. You can add some blanket bars in here if you'd like or additional saddle racks and customize those. We offer it plenty of bridle hangers. It's well lit. There's a floor in here. So if you want to throw some brushes or buckets and things of that nature, you certainly can. Now the entire back of this trailer is open for loading and unloading. And we're the only company that I know of that uses a separate partition for your horses. Most, most trailers will have a butt bar across here or a butt strap. And the problem is, or the potential danger rather, once you get from point A to point B, horses are like kids. They're ready to get out, they're tired of riding. Mama, are we there yet? They're the same way. And the last thing that you want to do is open up these doors and then your horse tries to back out on you sitting on a butt strap or a butt bar. You're trying to get the butt bar down right here at your horse's feet or legs and you could get kicked in the head, which we don't want to happen. So with the safe tack, we've really thought this thing out so you could step up inside the trailer away from your horse's legs. You can walk up to your horse's head, calm him or her down, take a little bit of time, get them acclimated to the environment. And then if needed, you can even open this divider up in between you and your horse as a protection. And then you can step out of the trailer out of the way. So you can just really take your time for loading and unloading, walk up inside then, grab your horse and then walk back out the back of the trailer if you need to. We've got this extra set of material here just so the divider doesn't bang against the tack box. And of course all of these dividers are spring loaded which I really like. Fold around out of the way. An improvement that we've made this year is this new slam latch. I get excited talking about this stuff. I'm sorry. It's a one hand operation. And we use this uh, poly type material so there's not any rattling going on while you're going down the road and it's very quiet for your horses and not extra or unnecessary noise. Okay, you'll notice the handmade padding. We do that on all Double D trailers. I like using a black pad. We have some other colors, but I, I like using light material because it's open and inviting to the horse. The problem with using a lighter color pad is it tends to soil quickly and it's just very dirty. And so we found that the black padding seems to be the most popular tubular head divider, not solid sheet. We want to use tubular so that your horses can see through. We get plenty of light, plenty of air, uh, very inviting to your horse. We did make an improvement and an upgrade uh, recently to the safe bump roof system. The problem with the older style, it was very forgiving to the horse's head, but it did not pass some of the testing we did in a rollover uh, type environment with an accident. And so what we did this year and a couple years ago is we added in the zinc frame bows. It's a Z frame bow and it's basically a roll cage similar to what you would have in your automobile. Some sort of a, a safety cage surrounding you 
We want that surrounding your horses as well. And we've got that molded right into the fiber composite. And so now if you get a horse that rears up, it's still going to flex. I don't know if you can see that, but it will, it will move. So it's quite forgiving. It's white on top, and so we're reflecting heat. We're in direct sunlight today, and it's very comfortable in here, and it's very cool. Uh, the other thing that I like about the fiber composite, it's self-insulating. So uh, we can drop an air conditioner in the front. We don't have to worry about adding additional insulation. It'll keep you cool as well. And uh, another thing about it is it's one piece. There's not any seams in the top. If we were to get up there and look, that means it'll never leak. Our older style roof, we did have a lot of seams. Uh, the safe kick wall system is standard on all of the safe tacks so that once your horse kicks that sidewall, it'll actually absorb the uh, flex and disperse that throughout the high density styrofoam insulation. We've really reduced the risk of injury to your horse's feet and legs by doing that. And this floor, we've got videos on rumber flooring, but I'll show you this. Uh, this trailer was ordered with rumber. That's like lumber with an R. And what I like about the rumber, first of all, the grooves run lengthways. That means it's easy to hose it out. The, the, uh, the manure and the shavings and what have you, they just run out the back. You'll also notice this is a flush mount. There's no lip here. And so the material will just wash out the back easily. And one other thing to point out to you, there's no mat in here. And if you're like me, once you get back from a long trail ride or a trip, the last thing you want to do is drag out heavy stall mats and have to clean them and wait for it to dry and then put the mat back in. Uh, you do not need a stall mat with rumber. Our bracing is on every 16 inches. And so that provides the flex that we'll need for your horses and it also transfers a, a minimal amount of noise and heat and vibration. And so I really like rumber. It's a very safe floor for your horses. Okay, uh, we'll walk around to this side and we'll wrap this up. Let's get a shot over here. Maybe out of the sunlight. You can see we've got a, a tie back for each door. Uh, we've got an, we use an aluminum fender. I like using the aluminum. Uh, they're lightweight and they're inexpensive to maintain in the event that you would run over a piece of road debris. It does happen and a tire were to come apart and blow out, it would damage this fender. It's very easy to unbolt it and bolt another back on there. And these are available at any parts store uh, that sells trailer supplies as well as online. Hot water heater, you can see with this trailer, the electrical system has a 30 foot uh, pull out cord or perhaps 25. So you could plug this in at your home or barn as a 110. And you can also plug it in at a campsite with a 30 amp receptacle. Excuse me, your city water hookup is included. And this is actually uh, an antenna cable that runs in. If you wanted to power up like a satellite or something of that nature, you could do that. Okay. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can give us a call toll-free at 888-244-2029 or check us out on our website at doubledtrailers.com.